y'all. OMG, like the I guess, yeah. So I'm not with nobody. Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody. Did it over taste it and call me. Still got love for your mommy. I know you wanna be somebody. Even if you gotta leave some. What's up, Brad Babes? It's your girl, Amir Ali, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome to the Brad Babes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And y'all, we are back with another vloggy vlog, vloggy vlog, vlog, vlog. Hold on. Hold on. I'm so happy, y'all. First of all, I have not vlogged in a minute. So I had to take a break from vlogging because I felt like I was putting out vlogs back to back to back to back to back. If y'all go watch my content, y'all will see like it was just mad vlogs and I felt like it wasn't enough like other types of content. There's other videos that I do want to film and put out. You know, I don't want it to only be vlogs because I feel like after a while vlogs get kind of boring. Like it's always good to have like a weekly vlog or like a bi-weekly vlog or something like that. But I don't think only having vlogs is going to be interesting. I want to get into other content and post other content. Content, but life has been lifing okay working a full-time job being a full-time content creator doing YouTube and running a business it's very hard especially when it's just me um, that's why they say like you cannot do it all and you know you have to have a team in order to be like successful but it's just like what part do I want to give up what part do I really want help with and it's like I cannot really think about what part I really want help with because I feel like I was type of person, if you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. Like, and I want stuff, stuff done my way. And I feel like a lot of the times I don't be trusting others. Cause like, imagine me trusting somebody to edit my video. At the end of the day, I'm gonna have to go watch that whole entire video back anyway and, and make sure it's edited to the way that, I, I don't know, like, it's just me, you know, I'm gonna bring everything back to me being a Virgo. <laughs> yeah, just me being a Virgo, like I feel like, I am a perfectionist and I need things done my way but you know something I'm trying to grow out of and hopefully you know when the time is right God will bless me with a team but for right now it's all on my shoulders anyway a little life update because we have time before I head out little life update so your girl has been working of course and I did start intermittent fasting y'all um, I started intermittent fasting last week. It's been like a week now. I've been fasting for anywhere from 16 to 18 hours. Um, so my time to eat that I give myself is between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. And then I fast from 7 p.m. all the way to 11 a.m. the next day. Sometimes if I'm working, the, my last time that I eat is my lunch break around like 3 or 4 o'clock. And that'll probably be the last time I eat um, the entire day until the next day at 11. Sometimes I could break my fast a little early since I, start, since I stopped eating at for the the day before sometimes I could eat breakfast so I could eat something around like 8 30 9 o'clock just depending on the time but for the most part I've been fasting I've been loving it um I've been really heavy on my vitamins my chlorophyll um lemon and lime water I've just been like really consistent with that because I feel like it's 80 percent diet and it's 20 percent exercise for a reason so I'm ma mastering my diet right now I'm trying to like get a really good exercise regimen in like it's, it's looking like I'm just gonna have to start working out at like four in the morning in order for me to work out consistently every single day as much as I want to because honestly my days get busy especially when I'm working and then like I have off days I'm always running errands it looks like I'm just gonna have to start waking up at four in the morning <laughs> to work out but anyway that's just a little update there as far as like my diet and what I'm doing to you know lose weight because my birthday is coming up y'all it's already freaking July like this is why I start planning my birthday months in advance because once summer comes, my birthday comes like this. So I'm so happy that I already secured the venue. As most of you know, I am having a party. It'll be in Brooklyn, New York. So obviously this is your invitation because I'm inviting some of my brat babes. It's gonna be like our first meet and greet before I do an official one. Like next summer, I really wanna plan like a meet and greet um, with people and host like an event, um, you know, for you guys, like a little like boss brunch or like seminar where I like talk to you guys, give you guys advice and stuff like that. But anyway, that'll be in the works. I don't wanna say too much but yeah um what other life update do i have for y'all anyway i'm about to take a little quick trip this weekend to miami by the time you guys see this i will be in miami already probably heading home but um yeah i'm gonna be going to miami and oh wait y'all wait how did i forget thank you guys for 200k oh my god how did i forget listen let me tell you guys about it so morgan last month after i hit well, whenever I hit 100K, I, I remember Morgan saying like, yo, girl, you are doing so good. Uh, I was halfway to 200K within like 
a few days of hitting within like the first week I hit 100k I already had almost 50,000 new followers which is crazy to me so I remember Morgan texting me like girl by June you are gonna hit 200k like I challenge you to stay consistent with your content because by June you're gonna hit it y'all why by the grace of God I hit it on June 30th the last day of the month I literally got 200,000 followers and I'm like wow God is so good because I was like damn like I really hope I hit it like but I don't I'm not the type of person to force content so I'm not just gonna put out anything just to say that you know what I'm saying I'm putting out content like that's not how I am that's not who I am so I was just really happy that organically with me making my regular content I hit it and I just want to say thank you guys so 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 much like y'all yeah, don't even understand um how much I appreciate you guys. Y'all don't even understand how much I love you guys. Y'all don't even understand how much y'all changed my life. Y'all think I motivate and inspire y'all. Y'all motivate and inspire me. Y'all keep me going. Y'all make me want to stay creative, stay on top of my content. Like, <sighs> no words can explain it. I swear to God. Like, I say it all the time. If I knew what I went through in nursing school was to be where I am today, I would do that journey again a million times. And that's not something that's not, not something I take lightly because my nursing school experience was horrible if you know you know but I would do it a million times if I knew I would be standing right here today in front of this camera as nurse mother yeah okay all right anyway Girl, yes y'all so back to the talk so I'm about to be going to Miami this week it's gonna be me and Mel of course um um, I'm not sure if you guys know Caroline, but it'll be Caroline and one of Caroline's friends, Brie. We're all nurses. That's how we kind of met and linked up. Um, so yeah, we're going to be taking a quick trip to Miami. It's going to be so much fun. I could already tell that Miami vlog is going to be tea. Okay, I cannot wait to go out there. So this video you guys are going to see, I'm about to go get my hair done because as promised, when I hit 200K, I would do change up my hair, add a little color into it. I'm not doing anything crazy because I really want to save like the color I want to do for my birthday. I'm going to be getting my hair done of course i'm going to be getting it done by the same girl i've always gone to ace by asia i'm gonna add a little color in there i don't know y'all my eyelashes is bothering me it's like my eye, my eyelashes always know when it's time to get maintenance done because they start flipping and falling like it's just too much these eyelashes are almost three weeks old it's time for a refill anyway um yeah i'm gonna go get my hair done after that i'm gonna go get my eyelashes refilled um and then i'm going to go get my nails and feet done um and then i'm going to go get just my eyebrows and underarms waxed and then um yeah, and then most likely gonna go get a drink or two with Mel and I'm gonna come home and show you guys my outfits for a pretty little thing. Listen, y'all. Listen to me. Listen to me. Them outfits. No words. Okay, no words. Them outfits that I have for pretty little thing because I tried them on the other day. Because I normally am not the type to try on clothes. Like I normally just order my stuff, pack it, and I'll try it on out there. And then I realize when I go on vacation and it's my first time trying on these outfits, I don't like how they look. Then I feel like I didn't pack enough because I didn't know if it was gonna fit or not. So I realized like I have to stop doing that. Like one, I wanted to go through it and make sure I had all of the clothes that I ordered because it was a very big order. And then um I just tried it on just to make sure everything fit me the way I wanted it to to see if I needed to order anything last minute so um, everything fit the way I wanted it to I loved it, it was perfect um, and the outfits are tea y'all when I tell y'all tea when I get back from um, going out with Mel you guys are gonna see the outfits like my flight is tomorrow around like 3 so honestly I'm probably not even gonna pack tonight after I get home tonight I'm probably just gonna do the trial haul throw all my clothes bag shoes whatever I'm gonna pack to the side and wake up super early tomorrow and um, do everything that I want to do so as far as like packing and getting myself together because I typically cannot pack until the day I'm leaving anyway because I still have stuff that I'm using like you know what I mean like I always pack right before I head out anyway I did buy, order some stuff from Amazon um some last minute stuff I wanted to show you guys that before I leave I have like about 30 minutes before I have to um head out so I'm gonna do this real quick make my chlorophyll lemon and lime water and we will be out the door I'm also trying to record like a maintenance TikTok so last night I washed and blow dried my hair. Um, it's already up. I'm just ready to go get my hair done. I have on this two piece from Target. It's the shorts and um, this top. And um, what else? I have it paired with these Christian Dior really nice platform size. They're super comfortable. I'm gonna show you guys. Actually, I'm gonna show y'all now. Y'all, these slides right here, super comfortable. These were like a birthday gift a few years ago, and I love them. All right, so let's see what I got in these packages. 
This is like last minute stuff that I just wanted to wear. Um, what's this? Oh, so you already know some places in Miami, they do not allow you to wear slides. Like if we want to go to live, like we want to go to live on one of the days we're out there and um, you cannot wear slides. I already looked at their dress code. Um, you have to basically wear heels. So I bought like these pads. Um, they're from Dr. Foot. I'm going to link everything in my storefront, but they're from um, Dr. Foot. It's like an arch support. Um, and it's basically like these gel things that you put on your heels. It's supposed to help like your feet because y'all heels is in me. That is a recipe for disaster. I hate wearing heels. They're just so painful and it could be 50% because I don't know how to walk in them and they say you're supposed to walk heel to toe. Like your heels supposed to hit the floor first. You're not supposed to walk on your toes basically. And that's something I have to like work on. It's like it takes practice but nevertheless heels are still painful. Like they're super painful. So I did order the lidocaine spray again because I feel like I ordered it like, like a few months ago and I don't know where I put it. Just wasting money. So I had to order another one. It should be coming today actually. When I get back home it should be here. So I'm going to be wearing the lidocaine spray on my feet with them heel pads. Because heels to me. Anyway, what is this? Oh, so I bought some shapewear. Okay, it girls is going to wear some shapewear. Let's keep you snatched. So I bought like a, it's like a thong kind of thing and this is perfect for like if you're wearing like a crop top and you have like a skirt i just feel like i always want to look snatched okay and i always want to look extra 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 snatched right now i got on my waist trainer from diana from on amazon it's in my storefront as well but when i'm going out i don't like to wear waist trainers sometimes i really don't like to wear fajas so this is the perfect type of shapewear for me and i also bought that with oh this is a beta suit Oh yeah, so this is a bathing suit, y'all. I bought this like last minute because I have a really cute cover-up I want to wear with it. Um, so I bought that. And then I bought a robe. Um, because I was tired. I was literally tired of always traveling with my big robes from Target, y'all. It takes up so much space in my suitcase. I'm like, I cannot keep traveling with those robes anymore. So I bought like a nice silk roll from amazon like it's perfect um and i can wear this you know obviously to sleep and when i'm getting ready but i couldn't just keep packing those big thick target um uh robes anymore it was just a little bit too much when i was packing so to save space and to also be more comfortable because the places we've been going is hot i bought a silk one nice and light oh i bought some white tees y'all because i have like this outfit for the airport actually this is not even it okay so this is just a regular button down it's like an oversized button down i have a really cute pink two-piece set that um i was bringing it's like a crop top and a skirt and um i feel like it would have looked better with like a nice white oversized top like either just completely on or like off the shoulder like i feel like it would have looked so much better as far as like being styled so i purchased that i'm not gonna open this but i purchased some um white tank tops tank tops are necessary okay so i bought that and then what's in here sometimes you just order so much stuff from amazon i don't even know what is in each package oh i bought more boob tape this is from instant breast lift but i bought some boob tape was well needed I bought um, more stuff um, for the heels, more stuff to help me when I'm wearing my heels. This is for the balls of the feet. It's cushions that go literally on the ball of your feet, um, right in the front of the heel, and it's anti-slip and it helps with pain. So I have one that goes on the ball of the feet, I have one that go on my arch, and I got the lidocaine spray, baby. Your girl is about to be a heel junkie, okay? If this works, if this combo works while I'm out there, y'all, is up and i also bought some more shapewear but this is like a bodysuit i feel like this is perfect when i'm wearing like a dress or um you know just anything that's like covering the midsection area this will be perfect so i purchased that shapewear be looking mad small when you take it out the package and i love that because that's how i know it's going to snatch me right on up put this stuff in the room right here and then we are going to get started on my water and head out Okay, here's the Stanley cup I'm letting you. I was over these cups for a minute. They was aggravating me, okay? Like they was spilling. But now that I've like started fasting, I find it really important to drink um, chlorophyll lemon and lime water because chlorophyll actually really helps curb my appetite. So when I'm at work, or even if I'm just drinking this until 11, I don't feel as hungry. And this whole cup, y'all, is 1.5 
liters this is 1.5 liters of water so if i drink 1.5 liters from 5 a.m or like normally the time i wake up to 11 y'all i drink like another 1.5 liters for the rest of the day and that's a gallon so that's damn near a gallon mix that with this trader joe's water and another thing that i've been getting into y'all is meal prepping like i've been doing like light meal preps so crazy i've been going to target and i've been buying the the jimmy dean um breakfast like they have bowls they have sandwiches they have cups and it's a basically like whatever you want they have sausage egg and cheese bacon egg and cheese they have all of these different types of options for breakfast they really high in protein as well so i would pack that i would pack the oik oikos oh i'm saying that right the oikos yogurt 20 grams of protein so for breakfast i make sure my breakfast is super high in protein like mainly packed with protein so my breakfast be like almost it's anywhere from 45 to 60 grams of protein for breakfast. Like it's a lot of protein. So I really be full. Like once I started packing stuff with protein and doing less carbs, cause that's the diet I'm focusing on with PCOS, y'all changed my life, okay? So anyway, let's just do this water and head out. I'm putting two lemons. Let me show y'all. I'm putting two lemons and two key limes with chlorophyll in there. And I feel like that'll be perfect. That's how I like to do my waters. Um, the key lime in the morning is actually very good for you. So yeah, I should try it. I know some people who take it like key limes as a shot. These things are just very sour, but they're really good in gut health. And that's one of the things I'm realizing. Um, you know, especially as a nurse, everything starts in your gut. So take care of your gut. Make sure you're taking prebiotics, probiotics. I'm gonna try kombucha. I've never really liked the smell, but they said the pomegranate and the berry flavor is very good. So I'm gonna try it. Cause they say drinking kombucha like on an empty stomach, just like this water will help with like gut health and shrink your waist. And you know, as women, once we hear shrink your waist, baby, that's all we need to hear. Yeah. All right. Now I'm gonna go in with the chlorophyll, and I don't even measure it, y'all. It's just giving boom, boom, boom. Honestly, at this point, just throw the rest in there. I've been using this all week, so it's probably like over me. It's like, girl, there's no more. Okay. But I definitely need to order more of the um, Mary Ruth's one. So refreshing. Anyway, I'm about to just clean this mess up real quick. Like I said, it's 8.30, now it's 8.35. But yeah, I'm about to head out. Let's go get this maintenance done, y'all. I cannot wait to post this vlog. Like, I'm so excited. I can't even believe, believe this was like 20 minutes already. But y'all seen what I ordered from Amazon, minus the lidocaine spray. Y'all see, you know, my water is my little morning routine. I already showered this morning, did skincare. I have my Lumi deodorant on. I put it like everywhere. I don't want to sweat because it's going to be 90 degrees today. It's going to be hot. And, um, yeah, I put it everywhere. I put it under my arms, behind my knees, between my legs, in my breasts, on my back. And it's going to keep your girl smelling. <laughs> anyway, scent of the day. I layer Givenchy Irresistible. That has become my favorite fragrance. It's one of my, it's in my top three right now. Um, that's literally layered with Valentino and a little bit of Burberry Her. Oh, like, y'all, this combo, everybody was at work like, who's that? everybody was sniffing me like this last week using that combo people are loving it but i'm, I'm just gonna do a separate video on my fragrances my body care skincare all of that so you guys can get the whole shebang but yeah y'all it's time to go i've been chattering for 25 minutes go clean this up and we are out of here okay y'all ready to see our girl get laid in slay are y'all ready to see our girl get laid in slay let's go
she done with me Burn some bridges and I let the fire light the way Kicking my feet up, left the PJs on a PJ Yeah, I'm a big dog and I walk around with no leash I got water on me, yeah, everything on Fiji Zany boss, suicide dog, brand new bag College girls, can a nigga head in my rap Rockstar life, so much money, I'll make you laugh, hey Oh my god, are y'all ready to see? Are y'all ready to see? Okay. Three. Are y'all gonna beg? Two. Stop begging. One. Ah! Y'all. OMG. Like, the lighting sucks. When I first went into my appointment, the sun was out and I thought I would've got some good ass content. But the sun went down, so it was like really dim outside. I don't know if it's gonna rain right now, but y'all, this is my hair. This is the color I did to celebrate 200K. I wanted to do something like subtle, something light, like nothing too crazy because y'all know, like, I, well, me personally, I feel like when I do color, like, I have to do my makeup because it just makes the color pop. So I wanted to do something that even if I decided to go light on the makeup or wear makeup at all, um which obviously i'm not wearing right now it would still look good and i love it y'all eight y'all asia this is why she will oh i wish i could just like pack her in a bag and take her everywhere with me so she could just always do my hair like when i make it y'all i'm taking her with me this is my girl it's my bitch like that we go together real bad like love her love her she eats she eats and it always comes together exactly how i want it to and i don't know i just can't wait to get home and show you guys um it better but this hair is 30 inches i just wanted to do some nice subtle highlights i didn't do anything like too crazy um what you gonna call it uh yeah this is body wave 30 inches like i said and even that she said was long which is so crazy because on my way here i was like damn maybe i should have got 32 or 34 inches but this is actually a really good length it goes all the way down to my butt like it's the perfect length for curls because you know long hair typically isn't too good with curls they end up dropping or something but this is perfect y'all i'm determined with this hair to master the curling i am i'm going to pack my t3 curling iron when i get home and i'm going to be determined to learn how to use it because the way these curls came out like i love a curling wand but the way these curls with the curling iron came out unmatched unmatched oh yeah it's crazy it's really raining right now anyway y'all hair is done thank you so much for 200k i'm so happy that i was even able to do this i love this for me but what i'm going to do now is i'm about to go ahead to my um lash appointment i'm gonna go get my eyelashes done it's at 130 it says i'll be getting there at 124 so i actually have to go right now because that area is not really good with like parking and stuff so we're about to go ahead to get my eyelashes done then we're gonna go do my nails toes go get my eyebrows done and go get a drink with melody as long as the rain doesn't you know keep going like this but yes y'all this is the hair either it's gloomy or my camera is trash and we know the camera is not trash baby so yeah, it's like really hot. Oh my god. And it's raining, but y'all, yeah, she ate. She ate! Alright, I'm gonna see y'all. I'm gonna see y'all. Let's go. The greatest, 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 greatest,
OMG, Brad Babes? Brad Babes! Oh my God, hold on. You already know. Lip gloss first before we chat. It's 20, it's 6, 13 right now. As y'all can see, obviously today I got my lashes done already. I got my nails done, my toes done, I got my hair done. Y'all, today is like the hottest day in New York. Like, it's so freaking hot. It's like 90 something degrees outside, right? On top of that, I have on this freaking sweater. Even though it's not heavy, it still adds like heat onto me. And then my hair, so my curls had dropped, which she told me was gonna happen. Cause she, um, Asia told me that like with long hair, it's really hard for it to hold the curls sometimes. And the curls typically drop with long hair. So she told me next time I wanna do like a layered type of look that I should um I should probably go for like a 20 something inch um type of type of style just so that I can avoid like you know curls dropping and stuff like that anyway y'all my my freaking lace started to annoy me it was starting to get very annoying this lace it was just doing a little bit too much i saw like it didn't lift at all it didn't move or anything but i saw it getting a little tiny bit caked up because i'm sweating and that's the thing with me like when it comes to um when it comes to wigs and everything like i uh, y'all <laughs> when it comes to wigs and frontals especially i am very weary of them especially in the summertime because like i have oily skin i sweat and no matter what glue no matter what the method is I'm gonna sweat <laughs> and it's gonna lift at some point and obviously I just got my hair done typically I get my hair done la the at night I don't know why I went in the morning I should have booked my appointment as late as possible after I got everything done but it is what it is I just went to the beauty supply store right here by the nail salon and I bought rods y'all I bought sprays I bought edge brushes y'all I bought a band as y'all can see I touched it up I cleaned it with some alcohol I just put a little bit of ebbing on the spot that was caking up I put my hair in uh, a little bit of some curling wands just for some heatless curls um not all the curls drop like you can still pretty much see the curls but yeah y'all no not giving i'm kind of scared for miami because it's like if it's dropping in this heat i don't even want to see what it's gonna do in um miami's heat let's check what the weather is in miami this week i hope it's not gonna be crazy hot like at least i hope there's a breeze because oh yeah it's not gonna be that hot well we'll be hot be like 90s but it's like cloudy pretty sure it's gonna be windy so honestly i don't even care i just want my hair to last anyway what i'm about to do right now is i'm about to head to the uh uniform store because i went to the uniform store last time i did my maintenance and none of the uniforms fit me um even though i got the same size that i always wear i think it was just different brands i'm gonna go back to healing hands that's why i love healing hands y'all i'm about to go in there switch my um switch my stuff and call it a day you see this is why i don't like some of these curling rods like I can like do the rest when i get home like i could fix it up when i get home it's not the problem it's just that i'm going out tonight because if i wasn't going out i would have just clipped it up and put this band on and call it a day and went home but i am going out plus i want to do the try on haul for y'all so that's another thing but anyway let me head to the the uniform store we're gonna go exchange these uniforms and i'm gonna catch up with y'all when i go get my eyebrows done love you brat babes i'll see y'all soon oh this light is hidden yeah i'm thirsty as fuck camera's getting wobbly every time i say i'm gonna put up my camera mount i don't okay you know what i'm gonna see y'all when i go get my eyebrows done <laughs> y'all omg so i just finished my eyebrows as you guys can see she did run a little behind because she was doing like somebody else and i had to wait so long so now i'm a little late to go meet up with melody but nevertheless i'm heading there now our reservation is at 8 30 it says i'm getting there at 8 45 we're just gonna go get some calm hookah drinks vibe and then i'm all home y'all it's really not gonna be a, a long night out type of thing i need to go home i need to get my suitcase together i need to pack uh, at least like my clothes and stuff i want to show you guys some of my outfits that i'm bringing like like, like my face i wanted to record a tiktok video for it as well so it's looking like either one i'm not getting no sleep or most of the stuff i'm gonna have to finish up in the morning 
but as far as like the try on haul i'm gonna really try to do that tonight because i just really want to show y'all my outfits i want to fix up my hair as well like just with the curls and stuff um i do it like my way but anyway yeah y'all i am on my way to the city maintenance days as much as i love them y'all nobody talks about how exhausting they can be they are literally exhausting like driving all around sitting for hours for services like yes i love it don't get me wrong but it is fucking tiring like seriously yeah we're just gonna top this day off and get a drink um with mel or whatever i'm super excited for that i took out some of the rods out my hair because a lot of them were like falling and i just realized like honestly it's just gonna have to be like what it is for now until i can go home probably later it some more and um throw some more curls in i'm either i'm probably gonna use a curling wand for the bottom and then use my actual curling iron for the front but yeah anyway i'm about to head there y'all today drained me <laughs> freaking tired but yeah we're about to just go get this hookah go get this drink sorry if the camera is wobbly i already know the situation and yeah I feel like I can't even, I really wanted to flop. That's just how I be. Like I be making plans when I'm energized and then when the day starts to like come along and I'm tired, I be ready to be like, girl, I'm about to just go home, I'm tired. But like she's really looking forward to tonight. Um, even though we got a flight in the freaking morning and we're about to spend a bag in Miami. Like, so I say nurses smell like drug dealers. Anyway, enough of me rambling y'all cause the camera angle is doo doo. I really wanted to upgrade my seat cause I, you know, I'm a Delta girl and I really wanted to fly first class for this flight because not every flight do i do first class don't get me wrong sometimes they do upgrade you for free sometimes i just buy my first class ticket if i'm feeling a little extra but you know sometimes they they just do too much and yeah you know what's so crazy while i was doing my eyebrows my um eyebrow tech was like girl um, somebody you recommended or whatever came and was asking about you like people really love you don't take that for granted blah blah, blah. she was just giving me a really good pep talk and i love that like i love her and i love that for me like you know like the fact that y'all go to people that i recommend says it all like y'all trust me wholeheartedly like i love y'all i love y'all seriously we go together real bad hey yeah, your girl is about to go celebrate a little 200k celebrate mel getting her nicu position i'm gonna surprise her with something very soon let's go get a hookah hookah and a drinky drink that's mel calling me so see y'all hello Boy, got the full body do rag out. Drop the roof and let it smoke it. I got diamonds doing since he's sliding both in. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck a night, I keep the quality in my shorty back. You know she wanna mind when she tattoo that ass. I'm a lover boy, she got her toys. Keep it coming, you a rider. It's that roll myself a day and count my figure shit. Stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit If I catch you knocking off, then it's gon' be some shit well, you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spin what you wanna Be who you wanna be We all stutter till I die what's up you guys i'm finally home today was a long ass day y'all i feel like i've been up since like 6 something 7 a.m just getting home at damn near midnight um but yeah today was a long day i love my hair i do feel like it is a little too late because the hairstylist that i went to she had to give the wig to somebody else to customize to color actually and i feel like the color that i wanted versus this is this this in the middle is kind of a little like harsh so what i was thinking was tomorrow when i do my hair i'm just gonna put a little bit of like root touch up like a brown dye on the root just so that it's not like so harsh and going from like a brown straight to this blonde you get what i'm saying but i actually really do like it i feel like it just has to grow on me this is why i don't like doing color because when i do my jet black natural brown i don't have these these mental things going on it's just like they eat regardless but like when you do color i feel like it just really has to like it has to grow on me you know but i actually i love the install obviously i already know when we get out there i'm gonna have to take this wig off and reapply it just just seeing how how freaking um hot it is and how it's already kind of caking up in new york i already know how it's gonna get while we're out there but anyway did get some packages well actually i got 
freaking mail from the traffic violation bureau <sighs> get a car they said so here is the lidocaine spray that i was telling you guys about this is what i'm gonna pack and bring with me for my heels anyway dossier also sent me a package y'all love that for me they sent me a package i don't know why they sent me this fragrance honestly i don't think i'm even gonna like it um this is their fresh margarita and lime i don't know it don't even sound good but um top notes are lemon lime grapefruit black currant middle notes waterfruit spearmint alemi base notes marine violet and white musk um let's see i mean i don't want to knock it until i try it but yeah, no, I don't like this fragrance. I'm sorry. Thank you guys for the package, but I have to, you know, you gotta be honest with your opinions. Like, fresh margarita and lime don't even sound like a good combination, at least for me. Not to sound ungrateful or anything, but like, yeah, that's not it. Anyway, I went to two beauty supply stores, you guys. So the first beauty supply store I went to was after my eyelash appointment. And I just picked up some regular stuff. I picked up this little turban, um, which goes on your head like so. I wanted to start wearing this when I go to Pilates and stuff like that. Instead of wearing a good glueless wig, I'm gonna just start wearing turbans. Melody actually put me onto this. When she goes to solid core, goes to the gym, takes classes, she always puts on a turban. And she doesn't have to hold back in her workout. She don't gotta worry about hair sticking to her. And I feel like as a black girl who wears wigs and weaves and stuff like that, turban is necessary, okay? Then I got me some of these um, wrap these wrap strips these are things that you're supposed to wear like when i'm on vacation and i'm trying to maintain my frontal this is something that i sleep in and put the band on top of um i got this mini ebon spray i got the olive oil products so i got their wig grip spray i got their liquid fix spritz gel and i even got their glue remover which i'm bringing all of these on vacation y'all i got a new wax stick this is also from the olive oil brand Kobe! I got some flexi rods, obviously because I'm wearing curls and you guys seen that earlier. Big comb because I was doing my hair in the car as you guys see to touch it up. <laughs> I got this straightening comb. So basically it like goes with the, the heat that you're putting on and you're supposed to like clamp it together. I don't know, we're gonna try it. So that was everything that I got from the beauty supply store. As y'all know, I did go and get new uniforms. So I got my undercool tops. Y'all, these tops are really good. I love this brand. They're very stretchy. So I got two of those because the other two tops that I bought like a few weeks ago did not fit. And then I also bought me some Healing Hands Pants, size extra large, tall. My fave. I, I bought alcohol because like I said, you always need alcohol. So I'm going to bring that on a trip with me. I finally found the Ebon Melting Spray, so I purchased this as well. I also bought this Tintation. This is their jet black um, thing, which I always use for my hair. Obviously, I cannot use it with this wig, but I needed it anyway just to re-up on. I bought some clips. And I bought some cream foundation from Ruby Kisses, y'all. This one I'm going to be using for my parts, and this one I will actually be using for my lace. So I bought those. And that was my whole beauty supply store trip. Um, that's everything. Like I said, I'm gonna go through everything in the morning and like more thoroughly and figure out um, what I'm gonna bring with me and what I'm not. Yeah, right, babes, that's everything. Thank you guys for coming along with me today. And I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog and I'm gonna catch up with you guys in the morning. what's up you guys good morning it's officially the next day don't mind the noise in the background i'm doing like a quick load of laundry before like i head out because i have some last minute stuff i want to bring with me um i woke up super early this morning showered did skincare and um i basically got some of my stuff together like i just put some of the stuff i'm going to be taking as far as jewelry perfume um skincare stuff shower stuff i put all of those things just out so that um it just makes it easier when i'm packing the only things i haven't put out yet was my hair stuff and my makeup stuff because i still need to go through the beauty supply store bags put to the side what i'm gonna bring and um just sit down at my vanity and pick out what makeup i'm going to be bringing but actually right now it's probably like 8 45 i really do not have to be ready until one o'clock so i have pretty much a few hours but i'm trying to get this try on haul done and i'm trying to be packed before like 11 or 12 o'clock so i kind of have like two hours which i really don't even need all of that time because i don't take long to pack once i know what clothes i'm bringing and i know what shoes and bags i'm bringing my products are nothing to pack plus i already showered and brushed my teeth and everything so everything is good to go um, i did try on everything that i ordered from pretty little thing 
but some of them I'm going to be saving for my trip next week. <laughs> yeah, your girl is going. Yeah, she's on a world tour. But yeah, we'll be right back with the first look. All right, you guys. So here, here is the first outfit. I love this set. This is like a two-piece set. It's a pants um, and a matching top. I feel like it's super cute. This definitely gives like going out. Um, at night when there's a nice breeze outside and get a little drinky drink on the strip This is what it gives so I'm loving this. Um, I don't know because it's kind of colorful I feel like my accessories will one have to be gold of course because this is giving like dark and then as far as like bags and shoes I don't know what I feel like I would have to wear like something white with this Hold on. You gotta make sure everything is like twerk friendly, okay? Oh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> this is the outfit, y'all. Love it, love it. We'll be back with look number two. Hey, okay, you guys. So this outfit, I feel like it's super cute. It's like a matching two-piece set. Once again, I know I'm a two-piece set girl. What I did do, which was like mistakenly cute, was I turned it around. There's a button on the side right there. Um, And basically what I mistakenly did when I first tried it on was I like tied it on this side accidentally but i don't know it's like in the back you kind of see like the overlap or whatever and it's like i don't know i don't know i feel like it can go either way i can either wear it the original way how it's supposed to be worn with this tie on this way i feel like i can wear this to like nikki beach yeah i really like this outfit and I'm, we'll be back with the next one this outfit right here y'all this outfit right here oh, okay i thought the other one was giving like nikki beach but for sure it's this one like the way it just hugs my body like this beautiful skirt um it is a little big like in the waist area but i still feel like it's a perfect fit for me i feel like it just still gives like this gives me like beachy this honestly can even give me dinner like i feel like this is a set you can dress up or dress down especially in miami that's why i love these outfits that i purchased because i feel like they're like multi-wear like you can wear them wherever as long as you dress it up the right way or dress it down the right way it's perfect for any occasion but honestly if i said i thought the other one was giving nikki beach it might just be this one y'all don't worry the pilates stomach is coming in okay as you can see my little abs is cut out maybe i can't see it but i can <laughs> the stomach is getting flatter by the day with my waist trainer my intermittent fasting but you know my body i love my body i'm getting back to how i used to be and i love that for me you know what i'm saying because it could be much worse but it's giving when i get out there whatever i put my finger on is whatever i'm going to wear because these outfits that i'm buying y'all especially with this hair color like it just makes it pop like, i could already see the curls with this outfit the pictures i'm gonna take yeah and it gives like a little bit of shakira like a little belly dancer thing i love this outfit i love this outfit i love this outfit this is probably like my favorite it's probably my number one i'm not even gonna lie the top is in a size 16 which is an extra large and the bottoms are in a some of them are in a 16 i have to look at the tags but i believe this one is in a, a extra, is in a 1x um is in a size 18 and that's why it's so big i kind of i probably could have gotten an extra large but more like for a more tighter fit but i actually love the way it just comes down it makes me look like my stomach is flat flat oh love this okay so let's move on to the next outfit here is the next outfit it is a two-piece set so it's like um a top with the matching pants i feel like this still gives like i said grown and sexy and honestly i'm praying that if i wear this to the club that i could get away with wearing slides <laughs> Oh, I just I have to step into my grown woman era and learn how to walk in heels. I, I just really do. But come on, who wants to wear heels all the time? Like I feel like heels are so painful. Seriously. But anyway, I love this thing. Y'all, one thing about Pretty Little Thing is going to hug your curve. This from Pretty Little Thing, y'all, is completely enhancing my shape. I still have the cup of my butt. I still have like I just have everything that I want. It's not making me look like I don't know like it's not making me feel uncomfortable like no nine times out of ten sometimes i have to like feel like i need to wear shapewear but with a lot of these outfits i don't feel like i'll need any shape or i'll be able to just you know what i'm saying and that's why i always like preach that when you do gain weight just buy outfits for your body type it makes you feel so much less like insecure about your weight gain or weight loss whatever because you're not trying to fit into things that's making you look like you're fiending to wear it like all of these are so super cute and they're comfortable you guys like these are definitely 
to work friendly, you know what I'm saying? If I wanna, I can do whatever. Okay, I could probably bust a split or two. But yeah, love this outfit. The top, I believe, is in a extra large, as always. The bottom, I believe, is in a 1X. And I'm happy that I got everything a size up in the bottom because I have really thick thighs. Um, and my butt, and I kind of don't want to feel compressed. Like, my top could definitely be an extra large, but yeah. I got it and I'm happy because the last time I purchased from Pretty Little Thing I bought everything way too big way too big because I just because she runs small and I always have to go like three sizes up in Sheen and this is actually true to size I love them I love these outfits let's move on to the next one I think I got like two more which I this is like a nice cute um skirt set it's like a skirt with the matching um top super cute i actually really like this outfit i feel like once again you can dress it up you can dress it down i love the color i love how it complements my hair and my skin complexion like just like everything else that i ordered um but yeah i really don't have too much to say about this because i'm still a little iffy but um for the most part i actually really do like it it is a pretty long skirt yeah it's pretty long so yeah we'll see what i want to pair it with but Let's move on to the last one. All right, you guys, last, last but not least, we have this really cute set. Um, it's like a teal type of color um, with the matching pants. And one thing I love about all the pants set that I've tried thus far is they're all tall girl friendly, as like we call it. I'm five, six. Um, five five and a half but who's counting uh, five six so th these pants are really long on you guys like I don't even know if you guys can fully see it but they're super let me show you guys in the mirror they are super tall girl friendly like they're literally dragging on the floor and I'd rather my pants do this than to be all the way like up here you get what i'm saying like I, I love this type of look that's pretty much everything that i am going to be bringing with me i do have a few things in my closet that i'm gonna pull out i have some bathing suits but i'd rather just show you guys that when i'm out there or whatever in context or whatever like with the vibe but yeah i have a few bathing suits that i purchased you guys will see that in the next vlog um and yeah i think i have a few more like sets and dresses from like old orders i'm just gonna throw in but these are the main pieces that i wanted to bring oh i have some sexy black dresses too that i'm gonna bring with me um that i gotta dig in my closet for and yeah because these were on i did like two separate orders this was my main order with everything i definitely bring into the trip and the other stuff was just summer things and i'm just gonna pull some stuff from that and pack it with me so yeah that's pretty much it for the try on haul y'all it's almost 10 o'clock now and i have to be ready by 12 so i'm about to like rush pack put my bags and shoes hair and everything in there um i'm about to get dressed for the airport and i'm about to head out like your girls we out here in miami <laughs> look at the Gucci. okay all right so yeah i'm about to go have uh, i'm about to just get to work because i really need to get these things done so i can get out of here on time um what else am I gonna do? Yeah, that's basically it. So I'm about to just undress, get to work, get my stuff ready, and get out of here. Um, because time is flying, and I already live like an hour away from the airport at this point. So yeah, I gotta be out of here super early. So I'm gonna catch up with you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this maintenance vlog, try on haul, package opening type of video. If you did, please comment down below. I love you, Brad Bays. Once again, thank you so much for 200K. I love you guys oh so much. We go together real bad. And I cannot wait to do another color. When I posted the video on TikTok yesterday, a lot of people were saying, do blonde, do burgundy, do red. Y'all, I only have one head. Okay, we only can do one color at a time and i am not somebody who like wants to do color all the time i think i'm just gonna pop out with it here and there but obviously everything that you guys actually do i want to do it because that's just how much i love y'all but yeah um let me go finish packing y'all let's get ready to go and i'm gonna see y'all in the next vlog i guess yeah so i'm not with nobody because i don't want to hurt nobody did it over text didn't call me Still got love for your mommy I know you wanna be somebody Even if you gotta leave somebody